Hey everyone, welcome to day three of Rainbow Vision week here on the channel. Here we have Tony. Hello. And my bestie, Gina. Hi. Uh, and we're here looking at Uma Van Hoos, who gets the uh, title of the worst damn name <laughs> at Rainbow and Shadow High. Uma Van Hoos. Uma's cute. Van Hoos. Does this mean like indigo in a different language? I'm sorry if it does. If it does, call me a dumbass idiot in the comments. But Van Hoos. Van Hoos. Wait, how do you spell it? V A N H O O S E. Van Hoos. So let's get straight into it. This channel is for adult collectors only, and on doll boxes, 13 and up is an adult collector. So if you have cool liberal parents, hmm? I've seen funeral home. A funeral home? A funeral home. Well, she's a lot more morbid. She belongs at Monster High. <laughs> um, uh, this is for 13 and up collectors, adult collectors. If you don't have liberal parents and are conservative, and you're like watching dolls in private, maybe watch this at midnight. I don't know what to tell you. I am allowed to say one F word per video. So <laughs> let's get into it. Here is Uma Van Hoos. Here it says the holographic, beautiful Shadow High emblem and the Rainbow Vision emblem and the gorgeous holographic artwork of all of the characters. Her second outfit is here. We don't need to see it in detail because we will look at it in detail later. And her guitar and the case is here. The case! Oh my god. Um, so it says, let your color shine on top of the box. That's like the, the saying for both brands right now. And she's got the glitch pattern going all across. And neon shadow right here. Amazing. Amazing. So it says, the world famous Rainbow Vision music competition is heating up. And the rocking girls of Neon Shadow have their eyes on the prize. And here we have her barcode. Uh, please do not hassle or like harass any store employees. But if you're at Target and you see a cool girl with colored hair, maybe ask her. Here is her like name with her like focus, music focus, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> So that is her box. It's like completely studded. And you like you can feel this. This is like a a 3D sticker almost. <sighs> like no expense to spare. Like the music notes all along it. No expense to spare on this line. So let's get straight into it. You guys like to watch me suffer and open dolls. Um and the other videos, I did buy two of each doll. I will not be telling you what I do for a living, and I will not be explaining anything to anybody because nobody's finances or anybody's like like uh business yeah. like so you're rude as hell for asking yeah. just know that i can afford this and if you can i highly encourage you to buy two of two yeah. because i am nothing if not an enabler <laughs> because i think everybody should do what they want with their money and i'm doing what i want with their money their money my money, their money. with their money my money okay so here's the doll in the center Here's her stand and her accoutrement. And now Tony will have the glorious task of redressing this doll and unboxing her accessories. Here she is, and let's get her out of her packaging. I'm literally like salivating. Like, what'd you guys do today? Do you guys doll hunt? I found these at Walmart, by the way, for $49.99. Um, but if you scan them on the Walmart app, they pull up for $40. So, and it doesn't hurt to just ask if they will price match their own website. And you could save some money. Or you could wait for Target because Target officially has them for $39.99. Don't ask me. I don't understand the price discrepancy there. That's a whole ten dollars. That's like a lot, no? Yeah. Like I've never seen such insane price discrepancies. Like, why is it that much? Yeah. Yeah. What is happening here, Walmart? <laughs> when did you get today. so audacious? <laughs> Video Barbie girl? No. What is that? It was 
Like the Barbie girl music video? She had a video camera on her chest. It was a Barbie girl. Oh my god, yeah. That doll has like like caught like child porn and stuff. Right. So, but when it first came out, Blanca wanted it so bad. She was like six. Yeah. I did everything to get it. And the Target was charging like $30 Literally anywhere. Oh my god. Anywhere. So Target was like price gouging. I, I argued with someone to get the $50 price. I got it. That's crazy. What the hell, Target? Okay. Sorry, yeah. So she comes with the shadow high stand with the studded bottom and the shadow high emblem. Um, do you guys do your stands this way? If you don't, why? That's weird. Yeah. This like limits all of the posing. And thank God for the new waist hugger. She also comes with a shadow high uh, brush. It's amazing. I love the rainbow high and shadow high brushes. Mostly the shadow high ones, though. Yeah. And she also... Oh, poor Uma. She's on her back. <laughs> the return of um, hangers. So cute. This is the like the pants hanger. Pants and or skirt hanger. Yeah. And here is like the tops and or dress hanger. It's a shadow along it. Cute, 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 cute. And here is let's get her accessories out of the way. Her amazing guitar. This is a brand new sculpt because uh Carmen didn't have this guitar. So it's like a, like an, a really like hardcore electric guitar. It's got blue lightning all along it and you can like run your fingers against it and feel all the strings and it's got like this strap that's a shadow and like a crescent moon in silver you can feel all like these little knobbies i don't know i'm not a guitar person let me know what they're called yeah. um on the back it's like plain such a cute piece um more than the guitar i love the case for the guitar this piece is amazing. It doesn't need to exist. Yeah. This incredible piece does not need to exist. And it opens. Does it open on that side or on this side? This side. Let me try to... Yeah. Okay, so like it's got these little doodads right here that you just need to snap open. And there. The guitar slips right in. This piece is amazing. Wow. Ugh. And then it just closes right up. Incredible, 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 incredible. I adore that piece. Tony, stop showing me pieces I can't look at yet. Okay, now let's look at Uma. I thought Uma was... In the promo images, Uma was my favorite. In reality, so far... Uh, Mara has been my favorite. Okay, so here is Uma. She's kind of like a really pale, pale, like, blue color. Yeah. Her skin tone. Oh, yeah. It's this really pale blue color. So cute. But she's very much like blue, purple, indigo in her color scheme. Yeah. Her color in her hair is very purple pulling. And it's very, very crunchy. It looks so pretty, though. Yeah, I thought, we were, watch it. I, I thought we were done with the whole gelling the hair, but I guess we're not. Okay, and she's got this hat right here. It reminds me of, like, Tama Finland. I don't know. I'm sorry if you're, like, a oh, young God. person. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says shadow right here, but it's, like, a, this, like pleather styled cap and it's got this embroidered chain along the sides and this shadow high um, squiggly smiley face right here. Here's her gorgeous face. She doesn't have as outlandish makeup as her uh, girlfriends in the group so but she's crazy. got baby hair. It's like painted on yeah, it's sculpted on girly. She's got the sculpted on baby hair. She's got an original face sculpt, as far as I can tell. Um, and with her unnatural skin tone, I feel like you can just put whatever like race and or ethnicity onto her as long as, as much as you see her. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna see her as a black girl. Yeah. 
And if you have a problem with that, uh, kiss my ass. Yeah. Here is her gorgeous face. I think this is an original sculpt. She's got like the wider set nose and these really, really beautiful full lips. She's got a Draculaura from Monster High-esque like broken heart on her cheek. She's gorgeous. This doll is gorgeous. Okay, so on this side, she's got a padlock earring that has the Shadow High emblem. And on this side, it's a key. So cute with the chain dangling. She's got an undershirt, a mesh under like undershirt like top. And on top, she's got this sequin top. And it's really nice sequins. She's got a bracelet that is studded on one side and a chain link one on the other that is that plated metal. Well, not plated metal, but like the plated plastic that is meant to mimic metal. And she's got painted nails. Please, girly, there you go. <laughs> and she has the Shadow High uh, hand sculpt. None of the girls have had the unique hand sculpt like Heather, though. Yeah. So that's kind of annoying. <laughs> and she does have this high-waisted pair of pants. The belt is, unfortunately, sewn onto the pants. But it has this Shadow High emblem right here. Pants are a little, uh, like, Kingdom hearts you know? Kingdom hearts -y? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very zipper heavy, like yeah. zipper, 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 zipper. She's got so many zippers. One side is plaid. The other one is kind of ginga me, I would say. Yeah. Not that ginga, but like, oh my God, look at the strap along the other that's like sewn on securely. And then they are hemmed with like this like sweater cuff right here. And it is tight to the leg. And she's got these pump heels with shadow high on them. Like the SH. Ugh, oh, this doll's insane. Yeah. So pretty. Okay, so we're gonna put her on her stand and look at her over here to get a better look at her uh, second outfit. So that first thing, okay, so here is her jacket that Tony wanted everyone to see, not on the doll, because look at that. It's lined. It's lined. And it has the Shadow High emblem in the center. This amazing studded sleeve on both sides. A belt that does come out. It is like pinched right here to like keep it tight. It's still an amazing... This fabric is so soft. Yeah. So soft. She's got a beautiful lapel right package. here. Lapels! Lapels, guys. The belt was tied already? Yeah, I get it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Tony's gonna put this on. Hold on, I gotta cut this. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> this long piece. So Tony's gonna put that on. Then let's just look at Uma right here. Wow. She looks so small on camera, but she's. You know, rainbow high dolls are like really substantial. Yeah. Does she have real pockets? Yes, she does. She has real pockets. Oh my God. But are we surprised? No, we are not. Nobody is surprised when Rainbow and Shadow High, Rainbow Highs and Shadow Highs, they're adjectives now. Oh. Okay, Tony's almost done. So now we can look at the second outfit in its entirety. I feel like I'm most excited for the second outfit because it's got a skirt. It's really cute. Like, I cannot wait yeah, for the yeah. second outfit. Give it to me Thank now! You. Oh, God! Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we just looked at the coat. She has this super cute, like the... Felix the Cat, Mickey Mouse-esque um, character that they have. It says Hollywood Shadow on it. And that's like the Minnie Mouse character on top with like a microphone. It's like a... Oh, it's got like the uh, invisible straps right here. Yeah. Ooh, and she's got this really cute plaid skirt that is dual layered underneath its pleather. <gasps> and it's got these straps on the side. Holy crap. Yeah. 
and these shoes are really cute. Mm -hmm. It's got like the the goat head, the goat head that like uh, kind of like how Brianna had on her like uh, some party doll on her like embroidered pieces mm -hmm. for her like um, eye mask. Whose? Oh, Harley's earrings? Yeah. Yeah, but they're a little bit more goaty. They're less the Medusa head and oh. more... They're a little different, but not that different. <laughs> uh, like, she's got a lot less features to her, I feel like, than the other girls. But... but she's still... She really is cute. so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love this doll. Yeah. In both yeah. iterations. These are both of the outfits together. Yeah, she's so pretty. I'm gagged. 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 Okay, so this has been day three of Rainbow Vision Week. Tomorrow we'll start the Rainbow Divas. So excited. And I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>